welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i am vlogging and i'll probably be vlogging over a couple of days this week so i thought i would compile them into one video and bring to you a somewhat weekly vlog obviously it's sunday it's my vlog days look how foggy and cold it is outside oh my god it's so cold but I'm heading into Manchester this morning to firstly go to Boo Avenue. I'm having a VIP fitting service and I get to pick out three of their sets essentially. So I'll bring you guys with me to that. And then I have a meeting for a uh, PR company and I think they're just going to be talking to us over coffee about some new brands, new products, things like that. So again, will bring you with me. I want to try and have a quick look in Zara if I can. And I have some Nespresso capsules to take back. I have a moving in gift for Lydia because obviously she, well, if you watch her channel, you'll know that she's just moved house. She's moved into city center. So I'm gonna go and see her apartment as well. So lots of exciting, fun things today. And why not sit back, relax, grab a cuppa and come along with me. So I've arrived in sunny Manchester for once. Um, I'm actually gonna head straight to Boo Avenue now. I've only got about 15 minutes until when I was initially booked in. So I'm gonna see if they have space for me now. I'm just coming through via the next Christmas range and they have so many products. They've got all the baubles over there on that wall. Particularly like, and I have done for years now, me and my mum both, I remember finding a candle that they did in festive spice, I think it was. And it smells so good, or it was Noel or something, but I think they've rebranded it to festive spice. Come and smell these, they're incredible. So they've got the big uh, candles at eight pounds, but then they've also got the little tea lights, which I think is a nice idea to have like on your dinner table in nice, pretty tea light holders, three pound 50 for all of these. Also doing here the candle cloches that I love, these little glass domes. Uh, 3 99 in TK Maxx is probably the best that I've seen these and the M&S ones that comes with the candle at the outlet. I picked them up at £9.50, but I just love that aesthetic so much. I think it looks really nice. chiffon room i am ready to declothe i essentially am going to leave my bralette on which i have lounge underwear when i've done lounge underwear haul before and i love that they have this interactive lighting so you can set your preferred lighting and then once you've declothed i press concierge get measured up and then pick out a few bits that i want to try on okay so i have decided what i'm going to go for i'll show you guys later on when i get home what i ended up picking up but i just thought i'd give you a quick outfit of the day whilst i have a full length mirror excuse all the underwear in the background but you'll see which ones i went for uh, later on so i've got my ysl lulu this coat which is from a brand called shop the curated and then i have a blazer on under here from a brand called noisy may i'm not sure how well that'll pick up actually because it's all black plain black t-shirt from Everlane, black high-waisted thick buckle belt uh, like tailored pants are from Lovies and then these sneaker style trainers I pretty much live in they're from Nasty Gal and they're always so cheap especially when they do their 50% off offer so I'll leave I'll try and leave everything linked but definitely recommend checking those out for like a just you know a staple everyday plain white sneaker I've got my Boo Avenue goodies, met with Lydia, <laughs> got a water, just queued up in TK Maxx for this, which is a bit extreme, but just spotted Foreos. Oh yeah, a little egg holder. Uh, the guy said, oh, it's a long wait just for a bottle of water. I said, I know, but you know, whatever, I needed one. And he said, no worries, 28 day return policy. <laughs> Loving these colours, very 
seasonally appropriate. Um, they actually have quite a lot of good stuff in this one, but because it's city centre, it's hard to carry it, isn't it, with it being city centre? Um, <laughs> it all smells brand new. We're heading up to Lydia's apartment. She's now moved into city centre. Boxes to unpack, I see there. I go to storage. One storage. storage system. Storage. Second door. Is another storage. I suppose you'll be doing like a flat tour and stuff, yes, won't you? So I'm not showing too in depth. <laughs> oh my god. Um, another bedroom. Yeah, this is the Wow, how bright is it? I know. Oh yeah. Nice for light though, isn't it? So we're gonna just put the sofa bed down. Oh, uh, so you're not gonna. So you have it as a sofa bed walk-in room rather than a double bed. Yeah. Set out, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. And then our room, which we're not, we've not done anything. Yeah, we're not done anything. <laughs> oh my God, it's very bright. bright. Light, light. Isn't it? It is very bright, but that's great for filming. This is so weird. It's like, I don't know. We've been thinking of this moment for so long. Hi, Neom. Smells so food. good. I was gonna get you a Hinch hamper. Oh, you should have. <laughs> Oh, it's so smart. I feel like I've got an idea as to this part of what yeah, this would look like, but just not the whole flat. Oh my God, it smells so good in here. It's um, the neon diffuser. Which one is it? That one there. It is. De-stress. I've been wanting a Aesop for so long. Like, I love the aesthetic. Let me just okay. come back. I think it just kind of, it's an ornament. Yeah, an totally. Ornament. That's what I said to Tim, I was like, it's not for you. No, exactly, which I think I it's can just relate to so much. Situation only. It's just for look, although I think I'd want two. A soap and a hand and wash. And a hand wash. But at how much? 27, 27 pounds. Each? Perfect. Maybe just the hand soap. I know, I feel like one step at a time. Anyway, Lydia's just treated herself and used it for the first time. And she actually does so smell pretty good. Mm, it does smell nice. Um, oh, thanks. You're welcome. My babes. So I think what we're going to do is go upstairs. Yeah, let's go upstairs. Should we leave our bags here? Yeah. And then I'll bring my camera yeah. and then um, head off to the meeting. They pushed it back, which is a little bit annoying because we're just waiting for it essentially, but it's only half an hour. So mm. I said, well, let's use that time wisely yeah. and come to all the new plan. Look at this. It's bad, isn't it? Amazing. So we initially, when we first started looking, thought it was just this black building, didn't we? And then they've added on this extra, I think it's six floors, this part of the building, yeah. of which this is the sixth. That bit isn't finished yet. We'll be out there playing football. Oh, it's already been on it. Oh, I see. <laughs> I, I, I was just thinking, what if you kick it over? Can't. But you can't. No, but he said you can play tennis on it and stuff like that. So oh yeah. You can play doubles. No! Woo! Woo! Yeah. They've got private dining room, media room. I remember all of this initially. It's like a cinema room, cinema wasn't it? Room. And then they left those up and there's two TVs behind so two people are like playing free for us. Oh my God. <gasps> She's in. Ah, this is what we saw on the artist's yeah. impressions on the VR, yeah. if you remember. It was. A table is for dancing on. Oh, look at this telescope. That's cool. I can see the roof, that's where it's pointing. <gasps> no way, that's the car park that I'm looking at, I think. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Do you see? For all the parties, it's almost like a flat in itself, this bit, isn't it? So you can hire this bit out, can't you, and like host people. Yes. And you could get caterers in. Yeah. You could have your Christmas you really? day here. Yeah. And we've got the library. Oh, I love it. <gasps> Lydia. Oh my God. This is amazing. I would come and work in here yeah. some days. Yeah, I think I will. Because then you feel like you're almost in a nice house. Yeah. Like yeah. library, but you're literally up the stairs and you're yeah, back yeah. in your yeah. flat if you need Especially to get anything. Yeah, it's so warm in here. It's like cozy, isn't it? Imagine a fireplace in no, here. Well, I just said imagine if they had a fireplace. Yeah, oh wait, they do. <laughs> That's the library that we just come out of. And they've got it here in this space. 
coming soon. So yeah, you can even make your teas and coffees. Oh, let's go to the Sky Lounge. Oh, that is the Sky Lounge. <laughs> let's go to the gym. I remember seeing all this on VR. Yeah. It's weird actually being here. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah. Oh, cool. You can see us in the mirror there. <laughs> I wonder if you'll have any celebs living in this building, like footballers or wags or anything. Did you? Interesting. Go on. <laughs> Get them kettlebell swings in. Oh. <laughs> hey, maybe a light one. Right, I made it through the madness. It's quite busy in Zara today. I don't know why, because it is midweek um, during the day. But anyway, main reason I came in here is what I wanted to find some really good quality, preferably ribbed bodysuits. But this is the only one that had like minimal marking on it. But even this has a little bit of makeup on it. I'm quite disappointed. I would have thought Zara would have had more bodysuits. So if you know of any good quality ribbed bodysuits, let me know. I've got this camel blazer, which is a nice transition, almost coat blazer, because it's quite thick. So I feel like this could be quite a nice layering piece for this time of year. So I'm just gonna try that on quickly. But I just got some black jeans, a variety, and also some nude leather pants just to try on, because I've been wearing my black leather ones quite a lot from Zara. Just had to vlog this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but at the bottom of that Land Rover, there's a, like a little padlock with something hanging off it. And it's a little woody toy. I think that's so funny, as if he's like hanging on. Can you see that? How funny. So I've just got back home and I just ran into the supermarket to get some food. Picked up some bread and soup for tomorrow's lunch. Working from home tomorrow. And how nice does this sound? Spooky spice pumpkin. So I'm gonna have that tomorrow for my lunch. Uh, but tonight I just went for, I'm actually gonna have it now even though it's like only half four because I'm starving. Jack potato, I wanted beans, but they didn't have any left, so I want the cheese, a little bit naughty, but oh well. Uh, also missed a couple of parcels today, so tomorrow I will vlog again and show you those two parcels that I missed. And also I'm thinking after today, after going into Zara and not buying anything from Zara, I wanted to get online, because I did ask about more bodysuits, and they said they do have some more online. So this week I might do somewhat of a, shopping for a capsule wardrobe. I've been going through my wardrobe lately and I have a lot to list on Depop. So I think this week for me is gonna be focused around revamping and clearing out my wardrobe. Cause I want to, Marie Kondo method, I want to enjoy each and every individual item within my wardrobe. So I thought it might actually be something that you guys might be interested if you too are wanting more of a capsule wardrobe, key pieces that I would recommend, really good quality basics as well that can be interchangeable so that as and when you see an outfit that's very kind of me, very plain and basic, um, then it's probably from bits that you could already find within your wardrobe, if that makes sense. And also some of you might be after some good quality basics as well. So tees, bodysuits, blazers, jeans, trousers, skirts, jumpers, coats, everything. I'm gonna kind of revamp, go through my wardrobe, make sure I've got everything that I want to keep. Anything that I don't will go to charity or Depop and um, I'll be on the hunt for some new bits. So that is gonna be a fun task tomorrow and I'll show you the parcels that I missed. But also, I just wanted to show you before I get into my comfies, my hair up, my makeup off and eat that food and chill out for the evening, I wanted to show you the bits that I did pick up today. Boo Avenue very kindly gifted me with a couple of bits which I got to choose after trying on and getting all measured and sized up. I went with a few key pieces, like capsule wardrobe again thinking. 
I needed a new strapless nude bra, a basic that will just kind of go with anything that I need to like not have a bra on show, but I need a bra for and the fact that it's strapless as well is a bonus. And then I went for a pretty set as well, which is this one. I think it's called the Trudy set. But this is what the bra looks like. This isn't a typical everyday type of bra that I would go for. It's not thickly padded, but because of the shape of the cups, it gives you good shape if you're looking for a plunge. And I just thought it was beautiful. The actual color of it is like a gorgeous satin blush pink. And then it comes with matching bottoms that look like so. Nice and nude and basic. And then I got this teddy, which is probably my favorite. Other than the strapless bra, which is the most practical, this is beautiful. I saw this as soon as I walked in the store and I was like, I'm having that. <laughs> um, it's this gorgeous satiny ivory kind of teddy or bodysuit, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't have clippers or anything. So that's why I always think it's a teddy. I don't know if there's a difference. And it has this gorgeous lace detailing on the front and also down the back. So I feel like this would be a nice one to wear under like maybe an off the shoulder jumper, more relaxed fit, so that you can kind of see the lace, but it looks like a little lace top as opposed to underwear. And then Capsule Communications, which is the PR company we had coffee and cake with. Batiste is one of their brands, so dry shampoo, they brought out a new range. This is a color protect. And then Pearl Drops is another brand of theirs. So they've sent me a toothpaste and an overnight serum. Also charcoal wipe from Arm & Hammer. This is quite a novelty, fun little thing that apparently works. So it's the Poo Puree in Royal Flush. This one's scented eucalyptus and spearmint, which actually sounds quite nice. And you pop this in the toilet before you take a number two, and apparently it eradicates the scent. And then another brand, which was a new discovery of mine, it is Stockton Harvey Nichols and their own website, and it's called Code, I think. It's actually Manchester based, apparently, they told us. Which I've never heard of it. My phone keeps dinging. Uh, but yeah, I've never heard of it. And they sent a lip liner and a lip intense plumper that looked really nice it plumps your lips gradually over time and then there's also a volume lengthening mascara and also a primer which typically mascara primers come in white but i like the fact that this one comes in a kind of nude shade hello it is thursday i've got myself a coffee ah, i feel like it's needed today Anyway, I have a couple of things to update you on. It is actually later on in the afternoon. It's half three, nearly. And uh, this situation going on here is not ideal, but I'm kind of like happy about it because I love a good clear out and deorganize. Deorganize? Organization. Declutter is what I was trying to say. Uh, so all of that is from these mom units here. Look at all my advent calendars here on the side. Christmas is around the corner. So I've basically emptied the entire drawer unit and put it all on the floor down here behind me. So that Marie Kondo method, it really, really does work. If you empty everything out, so on in the wardrobe, for instance, I take all the clothes and put them on my bed, clean it, because then you like have a fresh start and then put it, everything away and you want it to like look neat and organized, color coordinated, all that kind of thing. So it really helps you be quite ruthless in terms of getting rid of stuff. So this is on my task for today. I have a couple of charity bags on the go as well, things to take to charity shop. Anyway, Elizabeth Arden Superstar Skin Renewal Booster. These are some of their hero products apparently. And this is the Privage City Smart SPF. And then these I have heard about. They're the retinol ceramide capsules. I have also received this parcel. The Couples collaborated with Clarins, one of my favourite makeup brands. And a favourite product of mine from Clarins is the lip oil that they do. And so this collaboration consists of two of those lip oils. Now, one of them looks a little scary. This one, Dark Stone, and this one is called Light Stone. So if I show you what it looks like, it's black black and sparkly um but these do come off quite kind of sheer the light stone however it is so beautiful this is going to be like an everyday i also got this is this just made me smile so much if you guys have seen my vlogs before um me and tong we have a restaurant in manchester that we love going to it's called wing yip it's like a chinese 
supermarket or wholesalers with a restaurant at the top called Glamorous. And they actually got in touch with me on Instagram and said they were going to send me some products. This is the brand. I'll just show you now so you can see Wing Yip. Now, oh gosh, I hope you guys have got a coffee too and can enjoy this. Just chill with me for a second. I have a list uh, which I have compiled for capsule wardrobe items. So I might as well just show you this actually. This is the kind of list that I'm going for. I'm currently on Topshop's website, but I am going to go on to Zara, maybe ASOS. Maybe even order a few bits and within this video include some kind of capsule wardrobe haul. This is my sort of list. If you wanted to pause it and maybe rewrite it yourself, I hope you can read all my writing. Anything that I already have on, on that list, I'll tick off so that I know what I need to to buy to complete my capsule wardrobe. I am finally done with these drawers, so I thought I'd just quickly show you what they look like. I've got a whole bin bag full of stuff there. So, not 100% happy with them, but much better than what they were before. This top drawer is my candle drawer, candle and re-diffuser home fragrance drawer. And then the second drawer down is full of kind of stationary bits, some wrapping paper at the back, some envelopes, sellotape, notebooks, and everything like that. This bottom drawer is what I'm not 100% happy with. It's just kind of miscellaneous stuff. Um, some pens and pencils and some like strings and all sorts of things that I feel like this could all be within something. So I feel like I could have an in-drawer organizer. This top drawer up here is actually pretty empty now. So we just have our box sets and these are full of DVDs. I did like a before and after on my Instagram home account ages ago for that. So that I'm happy with. I now have a full empty drawer, which all of these were stuffed to the brim before. And then this bottom drawer is the boring man drawer type thing that's, I mean, that box is full of like screws and batteries and instruction manuals from different appliances, all that kind of stuff. Hence why I've chose it to be in the bottom um, and the furthest away possible. So yeah, that is everything done. These are all things for upcoming videos, so I kind of wanted to leave them out, but I might put them in that spare drawer just so that that looks a bit tidier. Job well done. Today is Saturday, and we are just about to head on to the football. <laughs> going to watch Burnley, so I thought I would just quickly show you a typical going to watch a football in the cold weather outfit. So I have my huge, chunky teddy coat on from Glamorous Topshop. And then this scarf is Lovi, so I'll put that on when we go outside. But the inside bit that we're going for food first, I just have this Lovi's black jumper on, a plain black t-shirt from Nasty Girl, this belt is H&M, trousers are Zara, and then these boots are Everlane, and then my coach bag. Right, are we ready to rock and roll? Let's go, beautiful. Let's go. We were just saying, putting it into perspective. I'm not boasting, it just makes me grateful and really thankful. Because it's hard for me to imagine that amount of people. So essentially what we're saying is I'm nearly at my 50k, which I think I've mentioned previously, I want to do like a big 50k giveaway as a big thank you to you all. And not all 50k watch every single video, obviously, but we're going to a game with a stadium of a capacity of around 20 something thousand, 21,000, something like that. And that just blows my mind, the fact that Phil that twice and that's how many people watch my videos. I just, it blows my mind. There's 11 of them from Club of Rome. Yeah, and then my mum, you, Lydia. <laughs> so yeah, I do, I really want to do a big 50K giveaway. And I think I might do it before Christmas. Who knows, that was the aim. 50,000. Tom's gonna set up his own YouTube channel. You should. It's not for me, is it? It is. You don't have to even be on it, you could just be behind the camera. He's, can I say that what your plans are? You're wanting to get more into property. Yeah. yeah. So I've said like, I think there's a market out there for people who like to watch development videos or housework videos or housework not how ha well yeah definitely housework mrs hinch not housework but you know like renovations is what i was trying to say um for their own homes and i think it would be interesting to see your progress to for you to look back on it that's like why i like to 
vlog our traveling and everything like that it's nice to look back on but also you can see your progress from taking a project from one thing to a completely different final result i think it'd be really interesting to watch right, where did you find? anyway we're at the footy now so we're gonna find a car park and head on in for i think we're eating i think we're getting some food beforehand so i just hit myself in the face where did you park? i don't know Tonight's teams are visitors of Chelsea and welcome on the go it was a loss for Burnley but it was 4-2 so it's a pretty good game to watch and because we watched rugby this morning and football this afternoon it means Christmas movies tomorrow can you see that it's cold today oh my god it is so cold today it is frosty my car actually oh actually had to defrost it before taking loads of stuff to the post office to post for depop but i'm on route to blackburn today i haven't been to blackburn in so long um but they it's the town closest to me that has a top shop and it doesn't have a zara which is a bit of a shame but it also what else does it has new look i want to pop in there top shop where am i oh i went H&M. I really want to go into a H&M because like I was saying earlier this week, I want to really condense my wardrobe down into not condense my wardrobe into a capsule wardrobe, but have a really good base of basics. I've sold a lot on Depop, so I'm going to put that money towards today's shopping spree, and if I see anything, then I'm going to buy it and maybe even buy it like in every color well in like black white maybe camel or nude or maybe even gray as well and then i'll probably treat myself to a starbucks en route back as well so a nice fun monday morning that i thought i'd bring you guys along with me because it fits in line with this whole capsule wardrobe element that some of you guys might be interested in okay first stop is going to be top shot i'm not sure the difference between holding power joni and just regular joni so i've picked up both to try just essentially a staple plain black skinny jean um these are in the cell which i saw which they're not really a staple i have put in my capsule wardrobe a good pair of like white jeans or cream trousers kind of thing of which these are and they're only 15 pounds so i thought i'd try them on might hate them might love them and then i've got these leather leggings to try on in a size 10 36 pounds and the they're more of like legging trousers like a jegging well not jegging because there's no jean in there but you know what i mean like you could wear a t-shirt and be fine with it whereas these are like quite thin leggings and quite a bit cheaper so i thought i'm just going to try these on but if these fit they're the ones that i'm going to go for i've got a basic high neck i need more high necks and more bodies so I got this high neck in a medium, in a camel colour. And then I was really disappointed, there weren't many bodysuits, but I did find this black square neck one at £10, this one is. And a basic white tee, which I really like the fit of this. I like how boxy it is. I like the roll up sleeves and it's £10. Okay, just a quick verdict, which I thought would be worth sharing i'm trying on now the joni jeans just the regular joni which are 36 pounds and then these holding power joni jeans which are 45 pounds i actually prefer the regular joni i don't really know what 
difference it is other than maybe they're a little bit tighter fitting. Side note, tried these ones on, not taking them. Tried the leather leggings, both sets on. These are incredible. I'm so happy to have found these. My arm is literally killing me having carried all of these bits in. But I'm now in H&M. Um, starting with bodysuit, I'm really disappointed. I thought they were going to have a lot more. I haven't looked upstairs though, so I will do en route out. But I found this one at 9.99. It's a high neck ribbed, and it's not a thong, which again is a little bit annoying. I want to try it on anyway. And then I also spotted these vintage slim high waist jeans, also part of the Conscious, at only 24.99. They're really nice, creamy colour denim. So. These ones, I'm not sure if I actually need these, but I'm going to try them on, and if they fit really well, then I'll definitely get those. Um, and then, what I've sort of done is categorised in terms of all these basics that I've got. I've got vests here, so I've got a black and cream one, and then I've got uh, varying t-shirts, you know, high neck, ribbed, different colours. I actually really like this one. If I like this, they have this from the Divided range. Uh, 6 99 they have this pretty much in every single color so hoping I'm gonna like that one and then I can pick up multiple colors and then this was a little bit different a bit more premium but it's still only 8 99 in that it's like a knit t-shirt so yeah I was intrigued to try that these two t-shirts were actually in the sale at two pounds each both from just a basics range that one's a bit more fitted and this one's a lot looser and then long sleeves, we have black, polo neck, turtleneck, high neck, all different types to try on. So obviously a lot to get through. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. This is Ariana speaking. What can I get for you today? Hi there. Can I have a pumpkin spice latte, please? Yeah, is it a large one? Uh, I'll go with medium. A medium one. Do you want whipped cream on top? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I have an obsession with pumpkin spice lattes I love them that much like it's literally my favorite taste flavor and everything like that of the entire year I love it when they bring them out but anyway okay so Topshop and H&M they're the two that I ended up getting from and like I said I am going to be shopping online for some more bits but before I do that and show you what I end up buying online, I thought I'd just show you what I actually got in store. So you'll have seen in the changing rooms, these obsessed. If you get anything from this little mini haul, let these be them because these are so soft on the inside. They're these leather leggings with a zip up the side. So nice and seamless, not too bulky here at the front, which sometimes can make you look a bit bigger than what you actually are especially if like me sometimes you like to tuck things in it's just nice and seamless super thick and cozy without adding like excess inches to your figure if that makes sense the dart down the front is makes them slimming i just love them i'll leave them linked below um and then these ones i also got as a secondary like i said to be a bit more comfy and casual these are definitely far more legging style Topshop, I went with a basic white tee. I liked the boxiness of this and the rolled up sleeves. And then I went with the Joni black jeans, which again, you saw in the change room. Waist 28, leg 30. So that is everything I picked up from Topshop. H&M, I saw this en route out. So I actually haven't tried this one on in comparison to all the other bits. So you won't have seen this yet. And it is this cozy knit jumper, which I've sized up to an XL in. So this is the biggest size they do, I believe. I don't think they do double XL. So I'm typically a 10 and the way that I'm imagining styling this is with those leather leggings from Topshop, a nice bodysuit underneath and just this. On those days that maybe it's not too cold, you know, coffee in hand, maybe a scarf as an extra layer and some leggings and boots, those leather leggings and boots. I just think a nice simple outfit and I was really impressed that this was only $17.99. It's honestly so soft. And then this little pile of goodies here. I ended up opting for, firstly this, because I don't have anything like it, is a knit t-shirt. $8.99 in a small I went for on this one. And then this basic tee, secondary to those leather leggings, this is again another thing that I am so glad I... 
I'm so glad I have found and would recommend like you buy if you're after some basic tees because this is really really affordable 6 dollars for the quality and the shape very simple goes with everything so I picked it up in camel I did get a small in the camel um well not camel like nude kind of color beige whatever um and I liked it that much that I got it in a black and white as well and these are all going to be hung up everything that I bought here today is going to be an item that is going to hang up so I can see it in my wardrobe Marie Kondo gives me pleasure when I look at it and I'm excited to wear it. So yeah, I actually picked the white and the black up in a medium. There wasn't too much in the size. And then I picked this up in a small at 9 dollars It's a like turtleneck camel. This is a real rich camel colour. Um, plain ribbed long sleeve top. I asked you guys on my Instagram last night i think it was uh where you guys all shopped for your basics and for recommendations and i got a whole list of recommendations of which i was actually surprised that a lot of you said obviously the standards the zara the h&m some people said primark but a lot of you said mns so we have an mns in our local town i might pop in and another thing that I also wanted to show you in terms of in line with the capsule wardrobe is, you know, I was after some bodysuits. I heard oh, poly bodysuits were really good. So I bought these two to try out and I have tried them on and I love the fit of them. These two are different styles. This design is called the Start With Basics in white. I believe they do this in black as well. So I am going to pick it up in black and then this one is called the I think it's the body on me bodysuit in black but again they do this in I think it's called oyster white which is essentially an off-white color whereas this is true white I like these that much that I might even as well as buying the black one in that and the oyster white in this I might duplicate and get both again because you can never have too many and I just feel like when you find a good basic then you might as well stock up on like multiple so that you know you can wear them when some are in the wash or if over time it fades a bit. I did find this online which they kindly gifted this to me and it is a set which is essentially like a little bralette that is called the keep it chill ribbed crop top and this is the keep it chill ribbed joggers which I didn't know this was coming so thank you so much to Opoly for sending me this it's getting dark already and it's only it's not not even four o'clock yet this is pretty much where I've been sat since I last spoke to you and it doesn't look like it's going dark outside but trust me it is so I realized that today is probably the last day that I'm gonna vlog within this vlog so next week you will see if I pick up anything up in town uh, today's Monday. I'm going in on Wednesday and Thursday this week into Manchester, so that will be in next week's vlog. Um, so I have put in an order, well, I'm just about to put in an order from H&M, so I just thought I'd show you my shopping bag. I've had a look at different websites and things, and I think in terms of going in store on Wednesday and Thursday, I'm going to go into Zara. Put in these just because I thought they were so reasonably priced, but I feel like if I get them and try them on and don't like them I'll just send them back nice and easy. They do them in half sizes as well so for $19.99 a good simple beige trainer. Let's have a look. Okay so I've got a seamless microfiber thong body here. This hoodie I felt in store today and it's so incredibly soft it's the one at $14.99 again I'll try and link these below. So I've got it in the grayish black and cream a fine neck turtle knit jumper. I didn't see this one in store today. $17.99. And then these look really nice. Seamless sports tights. And they've actually got it on here with this sports bra. But this sports bra isn't anywhere online. So I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for when that comes online. Because these are a new arrival. But I thought that could be quite nice. Kind of more at home days. I quite like to wear workout leggings at home. Because I feel more productive. <laughs> I don't know why. Like maybe... If I'm cleaning or something, I just like to be in those kind of trousers. And they've styled it with this, which again, I thought could be quite nice. Um, on the weekends, we like to go for like long autumnal wintry walks. So I'd wear those leggings with this polo top. It's a polo neck running top. It comes in black and this light beige mull. 
And what I love about it is you can probably see that it has holes for your thumbs so it keeps you nice and warm, nice and long sleeves. Then I also got some more bodysuits. I mean, intentions are not to keep all of these, but I just want to buy a load and try them all out. So I'm not bothered for the price that much, so long as they are a good body. So this is actually a two pack for $14.99, grey and black. And then I have this seamless one, this kind of rust coloured one, and I've got it again in black. Oh no, slightly different. Here, that's the same one in black. And then this one is a jersey thong one. So I do prefer the thong ones just because then you can't see them. But I've got a variety there. So I'm going to check out and try all those bits. Anything that I do end up keeping and styling up and wearing day to day, you'll see within the vlogs and probably next week's vlog, like I said, because I'll be going into town and just kind of finalising everything in terms of my capsule wardrobe i have this pile here of things that i have listed on depop some of which by the time you're watching this video might have already sold but if you're interested and you want to have a look just search for freya farrington for breeze this whole section is my wardrobe up here are like a whole variety of tops and everything so the things that i bought today will go into that section up here are some jackets blazers and yeah more lightweight jackets up there Dresses and skirts are here. These are more like night outfits or dressier things. All my jeans and trousers are there. Couple of hats, my Calvin Klein trainers. They are full of basics and kind of lounge wear kind of thing. And then in here we have leggings and again a couple of more joggers and PJs. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Stay tuned for next week. And I hope to see you all then. Bye guys.